Hi folks, Phil here, and happy Thursday. It is a snuff Thursday. I've been trying some new things. Usually sn sniff my normal Wilson's type or things like that, but uh, to the late they have sort of branched out. There's a lot of new offerings on the market. And Mr. Snuff has got this range of snoove snuffs. Now, the running joke is, of course, if you turn it upside down, <laughs> it does look like anus. And uh, based on a couple of the names of the snuffs in their line, uh, I think they full well know that joke. Uh, I, uh, when I saw one of the line that I have actually ordered, <laughs> will review soon, I was quite taken back, but uh, brilliant, brilliant. Whoever, whoever's come up with these names, I salute you, sir. <laughs> I salute you. So what is this one? This is Snoove Black League. And this is ooh, Jet Black. Now, opening the tin, I can already smell the menthol. It is coarsely ground. It's supposed to be a combination of 50-50 Virginia and uh, um, Rustica. But I can just smell menthol when I open it. Even getting me nose right up there. Menthol with a little bit of the ammonias from a new snuff. I can't see anything that would tell me what the tobaccos were. Now this is supposed to be kind of a uh, supposed to be like a Gletcher Prize type, you know, lightly oiled thing. I think they're trying to compete in that market, but with higher nicotine snuffs. So let's have a let's have a wee pinch of this. You have to, you have to sniff a little bit harder, because it is coarse. Yeah, nice bit of menthol in there. It's not like overly mentholated. A little bit of cooling burn. There's a floral hint there. Very. Subtle floral hint there. I can feel a little bit of nicotine, which is good. Being 50% rustica, I expect I should feel more than I do. It's not drippy or anything like that. But the nicotine keeps coming with this one. And uh, if you're new to it, you might want to be a little bit careful, but if you've, you've some experience, then you, you should be fine. Opens up nicely, nicely. This is the right amount of menthol for me. Take another pitch. Yeah, a bit more floral that time. I think you just have to get used to the menthol and let that sort of fade. The thing I have noticed with these is that eventually the back drip is profuse and you eventually start to, <coughs> you'll have to clear your throat a few times. It just eventually we'll get there. Sorry to be grotesque about it. I mean, just as the, the, the same as I liked Gratchaprise, Gratchaprise, and this is supposed to be more uh, aligned with Packard Bell, which they do that sort of version as well in the sort of um, crimson coloured tap box.
it's very pleasant, very pleasant indeed. I think you could just keep taking that as long as you could handle nicotine. And the oil, certainly easier for the beginner, but the nicotine might not be easy for beginners. If I'm honest, I'm not picking up a lot of nicotine. I thought I would get more, but I'm just very wary that new snuff, sn new snuff takers might uh, actually find this a little bit uh, more than they can handle. I can't be the judge anymore. <laughs> it's just a hardened snuff taker. Hmm. I'm going to give this a uh, Four out of five, just on pure pleasantness. Don't worry about the floral, it is very subtle. Very subtle indeed. I don't think it's going to do any, don't think it's going to put you off. It's fresh. Easy to take. There's nothing really not to like here. Not going to be an all time favourite, but I'm going to quite happily finish this 15 gram. Tin. I think Mr. Snuff is the exclusive distributor of these, and they obviously come from India. Um, I think you'll enjoy this one. If you like menthol, and you like more of a subtle flavour, or a subtle scent. Anyway, hope you enjoy that one. There are many more to come. I have I bought six in this line. I've got this one, Black Rose, to come, and this one, a Black Ice, to come. I think this one is a Anacidi one. And this one is, oh, I've had, <laughs> this one is Rose and Sandalwood. Um, and then i got three in the Rusty Range, and wait till you see the names that they've called some of these. <laughs> right, folks, you take care. And uh, I'll see you again very soon.